Now I'm going to show you how you can change and edit your profiles. To do this, go over to the icon that says Profiles. It'll ask you if you want to set it to Normal, Quiet, Vibrate, Loud, or if you go down to the bottom, you can click on Advance. Now, it'll show the same options again, but now you can click on the Application key and click on Edit. You can also make new profiles and exceptions. Now you can select different alerts for your browser, calendar, level 1 messages, each of your email accounts, alerts for messenger, new message, media text messages, phone, regular text messages, and tasks. Now let's say that I wanted to change the options on my text messages. I'll click on this and this is the standard screen for all of them give you the options of out of holster and in holster you'll see that they're exactly the same uh, basically what this does is it allows you to set different options depending if the phone is in a holster or not in a holster uh, the first thing you have is uh, if you want none, a tone, a vibrate, or a vibrate and tone I'm going to select on vibrate and tone and the way that works is first it'll vibrate and then there will be a tone it won't do this at the same time down here I can select what kind of tone I want by hovering over the different tones I can get a preview here I can select the volume from mute, low, medium, high and escalating and the number of beeps, which is basically how many times to replay the tone. And I can even select if I want the LED to flash or not. The next option I have is number of vibrations, which uh, is pretty self-explanatory. And then down at the bottom you can select whether to uh, notify me during calls or not. Uh, if you want to be on a phone call and not be bothered by an alert telling you that you got a text message, you can simply select no. Now uh, let's go to the phone. This is how you would select your ringer um, out of holster. I have vibrate and tone, so first it's going to vibrate and then there will be a tone. I have it on one vibration. And the tone I selected as one of my mp3 files which I put into the ringtones folder on uh, the device. All these options are the same on all the profiles. It's really convenient that Blackberry has made each of these alerts separate. If you have any ideas for another tutorial, please leave a comment below or send me a message.